Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Lachan with Power Life Hypnosis and this is your December 2016 mid-monthly oracle and rune reading for December 15th through the 30th of 2016. And this reading is for those born under the sun, moon, or rising sign of Aquarius. So, Aquarius, thank you so much for liking your videos, uh, your December 2016 videos, for thumbs upping and subscribing to my channel and your comments. I really appreciate all the support that I've been getting from you. I'm still doing a drawing from now until December 18th in which one lucky person will win a free 2017 yearly reading with me and two others will win a free reading with well as well. All the details are in the description box below, so please view the details when you are finished watching this video. And also, please like this video, thumbs up, and subscribe to my channel. So, Water Bears, let's start. So, I'm doing a five-card spread for your mid-monthly readings. I have pre-shuffled and chosen the cards for you. I have also chosen your rune stone here. So... <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's start. So I see here there's a lot of energy that's similar to the December 2016 reading that I did for Aquarius. So for those of you who have not viewed this video, please go back and do so after this. Um, the card that we have here in the center position is Mending Bridges. I heal rifts. I am a mender. So it looks like for a large number of you, during the ending part of the month, there will be a fixing of a relationship, a mending of something broken between you and another person. Okay. And it could be also a mending within yourself. I associate this card with a mending between the head and the heart. If there's any disconnect there. Okay. So... The energy coming in is healing the past. I step into my future with strength and clarity. So it looks like there's a situation coming up to the month of December, the ending part of December, excuse me, in which there's some healing, a relationship with you and another person because of something that has happened in the past. So there's a healing of the past. There's a healing of a relationship. There's a lot of healing, renewing energy going on here for you, Aquarius. I do see that the situation, I'm, I'm going back to the reading from December. So it looks like the situation is getting better, is getting better slowly because the card that we have here on the bottom representing the foundation is soaring into joy. Childlike wonder fills my life. So you could be on a search for more joy, for more happiness, for more love, for more prosperity, for more feel good. <laughs> That's just the words that came out. For more feel good. You could be seeking to feel good. And you could be working on that. And you could be knowing that this is happening. This is coming about. You feel this energy shifting. And you feel the healing happening. You feel the mending between you and another person happening. There's just a lot of rejuvenating energy going on here. And... This mending that you are doing and this healing could really be making a difference between making a difference in the life in your life and making a difference in the life of lives of others. So you could be bringing a very healing energy to others as well, because the card that we have here on the top representing your thoughts, your conscious thoughts are making a difference. The card is making a difference. My inner light shines far and wide. So making a difference speaks to reaching out to others. Holding your hand out to others, being of assistance of to others. Okay. However, making a difference in the lives of others also brings positive change into your own life as well. So the energy moving out is proceeding softly. So that's the energy going into 2017. That's the energy going out from this situation. My inner power grows in moments of quietude. So I associate proceeding softly with be gentle with yourself, be kind with yourself, taking your time during this time, letting the situation 
unfold naturally not fighting against it so you're proceeding softly you're being gentle with yourself understanding that you don't have all the answers at this time understanding that you do not know everything at this time so it's okay to be gentle with yourself during this time it's okay to proceed softly okay the message on the bottom of this card reads my inner power grows in moments of quietude so this speaks to meditation reflection um visualization just spending time really thinking about where you are in your life right now some reflection thinking about the situation and that could also help in this mending of bridges and this healing of the past and i'm always a proponent of journaling of of ex self-expression so this could be something that helps you with this energy at this time okay this could help with the healing of the past and the mending the bridges but I do see you on an upward trajectory, on an upward path, going forward, moving upward and onward from whatever it is in the past that has caused you this pain. You are continuing to move forward. You're continuing to step into the future with strength and clarity. You are healing rifts. You are a mender. And your inner light is shining and reaching out to others. Okay, so the rune stone that I've chosen for you is the stone that represents flow and emotions and water and intuitions and female energy. So for those of you who are male, this could speak to a female playing a large role in your life during this time. So this situation which you are mending this bridge and in the past, it could have to do with a female or they just could be a female who plays a large role in your life at this time. Okay, there this um, rune also speaks to the use of intuition. So for those of you who are intuitive, who consider yourself to be intuitive, use your intuition at this time to guide you through this mending of bridges and this healing of the past and this moving forward. Your intuition will come into play. And for those of you who do not consider yourself intuitive, some of you may experience, for example, a, a message that comes out of nowhere or a predictive dream that will speak to a bad deal that may be upcoming or some kind of dangerous situation. So if you do have this type of dream, please pay attention to that and note it and write it down in the morning if possible. At the very least, keep this in your mind because this is going to help you out later on and you will see that play out. So this card speaks to flow and an easy ebb and flow of emotions, of relationships. This speaks to satisfaction in emotions, happy emotions. This also speaks to cleansing, okay, because water cleanses. So this also speaks to cleansing. So this could be cleansing your, your um, emotion, your emotional state, Okay, I just heard something about taking a bath in Epsom salt and or sea salt because these are both um, cleansing, cleansing um, substances. Okay, so cleansing, cleansing your space, cleansing your home, reevaluating, reorganizing and realigning. This stone also speaks to spiritual matters again intuition and studying also studying so you could have good memory at this time good learning so again if you do have a, a dream please do your best to remember that dream and write it down okay things are going to go into in your favor so again all this situation all this energy is moving forward and it is all going it's all going in your favor you're just proceeding slowly and proceeding softly at this time. But things are turning around in your favor. And there could also be some relaxation going on and some reevaluating going on of your priorities. Especially with this healing the past and mending bridges. So I'm hearing something for those of you who have are mending a relationship. Um I'm hearing a reevaluating of what this relationship looks like for you, reevaluating what you want in your relationship. Cleansing out any negative aspects of your relationship that aren't serving you moving forward. 
using your intuition. Okay. So for those of you who are struggling with any of these energies, questions to ask yourself are, I'm going to start here with making a difference. Whose life can you make a difference in at this time? How can you make a difference in the lives of others? How can you reach others? Healing the past. What do you need to heal in the past? And you know what this is, Aquarius. You know what this is. Whatever this is, you you are aware of it. So what do you need to do in order to heal this situation from the past? What steps are needed moving forward in order to heal from the past? Is reflection needed? Meditation needed? Um, quiet time? Quietude? Solitude? What is needed to heal the past? What needs to be healed? Is there anything that you're not paying attention to that you're refusing to heal? Do you have any open wounds that need healing? Take a look at those. Mending bridges. What relationships do you need to mend at this time and how to go about that? What will mending these bridges do for you? What will these mending what will mending these bridges do for others? And then again, this is making a difference in the lives of others. So how can this mending of bridges make a difference in the lives of others? Soaring into joy. Childlike wonder fills my life. Again, how can you bring more joy in your life? I believe this card was um in your December 2016 reading. How can you bring more joy into your life? Spend some time reflecting on this, Aquarius. What childlike wonder would you want in your life? Do you want in your life at this time? Soaring into joy, how can you bring more joy into your life? And then we have here proceeding softly. So how can you be gentle with yourself moving forward? What can quietude do for you at this time? How can quietude benefit you at this time? How can you be gentle with yourself? What things can you do to take care of yourself? But I do see you moving forward, moving upward, and moving onward. Continue the good work, Aquarius. Again, use your intuition. Pay attention to the signs and the messages that you receive. Use that still small inner voice for those of you that that are connected with this voice. And those of you who are not, please pay attention to your dreams, messages that seem as if they come out of nowhere. And enjoy the ending part of your month. Those are the messages that I have for you. Thank you very much, Aquarius. Please thumbs up this video, like it, and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Enjoy the ending part of your month. And I will see you again here for the 2017 readings. Thank you so much. Enjoy.